We have never been an institution who relied on history. We've always prided ourselves in being forward thinking, trying to be one step ahead, you know, maybe of our competition. It's really neat to watch the university grow. Technology, different programs, the makeup of the student body, and then of course the outreach programs have really catapulted the university into a much different level than it was 20 years ago when I was here. Our enrollment has continued to expand. For the last two years, we've had the largest enrollment ever, and this year it looks as though it's even going to be last year's record. That's something we're very proud of, but at the same time, we want to make sure that our students um, are able to have the you know, inviting living in residential facilities. I think that the Imagine campaign is a fabulous idea. I'm very excited about it and mostly because the nicer our university looks, the more people will want to come to our school. The campaign is comprised of, of three separate programs. One is the sorority complex. The second part is our Center for Ethics and Global Studies, and that's not a facility, but it's programmatic. And then the third part of the project is a newly refurbished alumni center. We've been very successful in attracting attention for all three, but certainly if you said to us which is the, the primary need for the university, it's what we now are calling Sorority Circle. They're going to bring in four beautiful buildings that will house our sorority houses. So when you come into the new entrance, that's the first thing you'll see is this gorgeous brand new community that we're gonna have. One right reason is, is because our sororities are split up right now. There's two on one side and two on another side of the campus. It's just gonna bring the whole Greek community closer together. And that's what I think Dr. Barnett really wants to see is the separation minimized. The part that I love the most, it's in a semicircle in the back. We'll tear down and we'll have an amphitheater. I'm so excited that the president came up with it and is pushing through with it because it's going to bring all the houses closer together. The Greeks on this campus are very involved. They are leaders. They are active in organizations and honoraries. They are outstanding students. We have our fun. We have our social side to us as well. But our main focus is our scholarship and our community service and making sure that we keep a good name for Greek life here at William Woods as well. With this new sorority circle, I feel as though we'll be able to come together as a more unified front and go out into the Fulton community and promote William Woods in a positive spirit. I think that that's what Greek life here provides us, the chance to be independent, well-rounded individuals. I think they see a real purpose in our being able to bring them all together into one location, which we've not been able to do before. I think the reason I really love this campus is because everybody's so willing to learn. I don't care if you're a student, faculty, staff, everybody's so willing to learn about another culture. One of the things that employers are talking about is the need for students and employees who can demonstrate international mindedness. For us and our daughter, we were looking for a liberal arts education and an awareness uh, that her life did extend beyond a small town in Texas. The Center for Ethics and Global Studies will be a program that allows us to, to more fully implement some of our goals for education. The students will enroll in the class and will study a culture and then we'll travel to that culture. And then when we come back, the students will do a supervised project where they try to integrate their own academic area of study uh, with the place that we've just uh, visited. We have studied the cultures of Kenya. We went to Peru. Last year, we followed the American Civil Rights Trail. We visited Europe as part of a history of the Holocaust tour. And on the trip, the students are able to visit with people who were you know, eyewitnesses to history. People have described education as a journey of discovery. We take the metaphor and we actually apply that to our learning here on campus where the students, they get to see the world. This is such a special place. It is as special to me now as it was the first time I walked onto this campus. But every time I've been on campus, I've just been intrigued with the students that I've met. They, they really are exciting people to be around. Had I gone to a bigger university, had a teacher not stepped aside and said, you know what, I see where you are creative in, in this particular area. How can we nurture you? 
That's what's great about this school. I think what's kept me involved with it, not being an alumni and not having any affiliation that way, has been Dr. Barnett and Scott Gallagher. They're innovative. Their uh, outlook for this university is so positive. And wanting it to thrive, wanting it to succeed, wanting it to continue having the kinds of vibrant opportunities that young people are getting while they're here on campus. We have great leadership at William Woods University, and this university is going to evolve and change as this campaign goes, and, and so the more that we are able to put into the university, it's limitless what we'll be able to do. I think everybody has a role in this campaign. Whether they're able to contribute a small amount or a large amount, it's important, and they'll have ownership in this. It's always nice to be able to cut a check for a million dollars, but I think it's those small checks that we receive that really is going to make this campaign go and grow. And I do believe it will be extremely successful because I believe they want to help us. Uh, it, it's a hard time for people. It's a very difficult time. But there's a part of you, once you've been here, that never leaves.